My name is Alan Hawes. I'm Executive Vice President of Software at Cypress Semiconductor. In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate using the PSOC proximity detection feature on the O49 prototyping kit. To make the proximity work, you will need a proximity sensor loop. For this example, take a piece of wire and bend it into a loop. The loop should be about five centimeters in diameter. Recall, in an earlier video, I soldered a header onto my kit. You will be able to plug your wire into one of the ports on the header to attach it to the PSOC. It is also possible to plug the wire into the bare hole of the board. You could also solder the wire into the hole to make a more permanent, stable connection, but it's not necessary if you've got the header soldered on your board. To implement this application, start by creating a new bootloadable application. Then add and configure the bootloadable component as discussed in the O49 bootloadable lesson. The next thing you will do is add a CapSense component. In the Component Customizer, add a proximity widget. Then, in the DWR, assign the sensor pin to port 1, pin 4. Next, add a pin to drive the LED. Double-click the pin to turn off the hardware connection, as this pin will be driven only by the firmware. Then in the DWR, assign the LED to the O49 LED pin, which is port 1, pin 6. Now write your firmware. First, enable the global interrupts. Then start the CapSense component. Then call the API that initializes the baselines. This function will automatically compensate for the parasitic capacitance of your header and of your proximity wire. In the main loop, if the CapSense isn't busy, read the status of the proximity sensor and then write that status directly to the pin. If the widget is active, it will turn on the LED, and if it is off, it will turn off the LED. With this example, you will be able to detect your hand when it gets within a few centimeters of the wire. In a properly designed printed circuit board, you can get as much as 30 centimeters of proximity detection. Now build the project and bootload it into your kit. You will be able to turn on and off the LED by moving your hand near the wire. It's just that simple. As always, if you have questions about PSOC Creator or PSOC in general, you're welcome to email me, alan underscore hawes at cypress.com, and I will make sure that your questions are answered. 